So the relationship between the signified and signifier is completely arbitrary. Well, according to structuralism, post-structuralism is completely different. You want some of that salsa? No, 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 Come on, no, come on. No. You said you wanted some before. No. Open your mouth. Open wide. No. I don't want that. Shut Stop it. Thank you, Tommy. He's the being lady a, said no. He's being, a, he's being a bully. Yeah, I know he is. I'm, tra- I'm trying to... You know what time he gets to be a bully? That's right. You know, every other day you're bullying him. That's right. He's trying. That's right. I'm telling him what's going on. <laughs> No, that's not tonight. That's what, you have that mustache, that milk mustache. Um, so where was I? AIDS. There's structure. Uh, yeah, so the meaning between signified and signifier is completely arbitrary. However, uh, the one thing, actually this is inspired by Joanna Newsom in this one song. Uh, I forgot the God, name she it. sucks so hard. Fuck off. Oh. Inspired by her or yeah. her song was inspired by structuralism? Oh, structuralism. No, well, my critique of structuralism was inspired by this line in the song. And it goes, the signified butt heads with the signifiers. And uh, I was thinking about that song for a that? while. It's, it's from Milk Eyed Mender. I don't remember what song it is. But um, the one instance that I can think of where a signified butt heads with its signifier is within the self. An example of that would be like, um, like someone that we know is n- someone that we know goes by the name of Mike, mm-hmm. but we call him Michael, and he doesn't like that. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> well, well, no, you're but you're fine though with with what we call you. Or we call me Paul all, all the time. You're just being. You're just being silly. No, I want you to call me I'm talking about someone who's legitimately call upset with the fact that we call him Michael when you're he wants to be called Powell Mike. Now Powell. Like so Nick. that... So, but I don't understand how that would be the signified butting heads with the signifier. Because the signified, which is the self... Would is, that be Mike or Michael? It'd be Mike who's upset with the, sig- but, with the signifier as Michael. I get it. You're a stupid eyebrow. Tommy, Tommy gets it. Okay. <laughs> he's I'm, I'm, Mike. He's I'm, Mike, I'm, but I'm Michael Mike. is not him. But if you're referring to him as Michael, you're not. He's like, but that would only that would only work. So you're saying the him, signifier. The only time he ever feels like Michael is when his mother's precisely. So so the tea, him. Ca- the tea kettle. Like a ghetto motherfucker. Makes no difference. It would make no difference if we Chupac called it a tea Chupac. kettle or a tea coddle. So it only exists within the self. Michael. Precisely. All right, come on. Um, I don't, uh, do I have much more? To, oh, oh, um. Can you tell me about Kant's life? You're a good egg. I didn't know. Kant lived an interesting life. Oh, he, um. Oh, now you're getting Irish. He started as an adamant rationalist, Irish. and then he read oh, uh, David so Hume. <laughs> I, I forgot that? what he read from David Hume. Oh, my King. God. But nonetheless, uh, he was quoted as saying, uh, David Hume woke him from his, uh, his dogmatic slumber, meaning it made him reevaluate the whole idea of rationalism and made him incorporate uh, David Hume's concept of empiricism. Uh, and then from there you have the uh, the whole saga of the critiques. You have the critique of uh, pure reason, the critique of pure judgment, and the critique of something else. Aesthetic. I, I don't think it was a critique of aesthetics. Was it? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was. Mm. I think aesthetics was included in one of the, in one of the, uh, the things, but, um, but, uh, but towards the end of Kant's life, he was abused by his, his, uh, like, butler type of deal. His butler, supposedly his butler, like, beated him. <laughs> so, supposedly. <laughs> which is really interesting. He was a lonely motherfucker. Yeah, he, you know what? The story 